Hello and welcome to the third tutorial that looks at Adobe Flash CS6 to create animations. Now this is a continuation of the last tutorial in which we looked at a shape tween, which we looked at a circle going from one side of the stage to the other. You can see the last tutorial for that and we also looked at moving a shape into the word hello. Now the shape tween is basically used for morphing one shape into another because moving a circle from one side of the stage to the other could be used uh, by doing a classic tween. So if I remove the tween and I delete that there, then what I'm going to do is copy this, what's, whatever's in this keyframe basically here by doing control and C and I'm going to paste it into this keyframe here and the way that I did that if I do control and V you'll see that it pastes the shape in a random position on the stage now the best way to do this if I click into key, the keyframe here on frame 24 is if I do control shift and V it pastes it in the exact same place that I copied it from in keyframe 1 so as I said what I could do now is I could move this shape over to this side and then fill in the, the between frames hence the tween and I could just use a classic tween for that and you can see that it's slightly changed it's got a light purple um, color in the tween so if I press enter it does that for me now really the best thing to do with shape tweens or what it's most useful for because we could use a classic tween there I'm going to actually morph, if I just remove this tween here, by right clicking and remove the tween. So I've got my keyframe here where I've got the circle. And what I want to do is I want to put this into frame 24. But I'm going to use a square here. So I'm going to click and hold and change the shape to a square. So if I drag a square out like that, and what I could do is I could change the inside color by going to the properties make sure I've got it selected first, go into the properties and I'm going to change the stroke colour to let's say a nice bright green and I'm going to change the inside colour to a pink. So what I can do now if I create a tween, right click and you can see that create shape tween is actually greyed out. And the reason for this is now that if I click on the shape here and go to properties, because I used a classic tween, it actually changed the shape to a graphic, which I don't actually want. So what I can do is click on that shape there. And if I do control and B, it breaks it up back into a shape again. So if I go to properties, you can see that it's now a shape again. So what I've got here in my first keyframe, which means that it's going to start the animation, I've got a circle. If I play this here, you can see that nothing actually happens because there's no keyframes under the playhead. Now, when I get to frame 24, you'll see that because I've got a keyframe there, it's actually changed. It's actually done something else. But at the moment, it doesn't animate. So if I press Enter, it just plays the circle for all of these frames. And then when it gets to this one, it suddenly changes it to the square. But what I want to do is morph it and change for the circle into the square. So in here, I can control click on the Mac or just right click in the center and do a shape tween. Now, what you'll see is that it changes the shape for you and fills in the in-between frames automatically. So if I press enter, you can see that again. If I export it by doing control and enter, it's going to show me what my animation will look like when I've exported it. So now we can see the shape tween actually morphs the shapes. And I can do this for anything. So let's say I change the shape here. I can change it to, well, let's try and drag some of the edges out. So if I use the selection tool, go over to here. If I just hover over the outline there, you can see that I can slightly change this to make these rounded. So therefore, when I press enter, it's just going to change it to that shape. So it could be any shape that you want. And what I could do there then is I could click here. And if I insert a new keyframe, 
at 48, which remember, because it plays at four, uh, 24 frames per second, if I press F6 to put a new keyframe in, it's added another, essentially, another second to the animation. So the animation is going to last two seconds now. So it's gone from a circle to this shape here, and it's changed the colours as well. And what I'm going to do in here, I'm going to change this, I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to add a perfect square. So I'll hold the shift key when I drag it out so it makes it perfect square, perfectly symmetrical on each side, same dimensions, and I'm going to change the colour. So I'll select it, go into my properties, change the properties, I'm going to change the outline to black, and the fill to white. And I could also move the shape over here. And remember, if I create a shape tween in between those keyframes, it's just going to fill in all the individual frames in between. So I press enter. And that's how the shape tween works. So that's a nice little way to show you how we can morph shapes together, change colors, and it will fill in all the in-between frames for you and do it perfectly every time. Thank you.